Hello. Hi. Are you a Vermont voter? My name is Chris Erickson, and I'm on the November 8th election ballot in Vermont as an independent candidate for United States Senator. Now, I have a plan to get more money for programs Vermonters need without raising federal tax dollars. Listen up. This is important. I am the best candidate. Federal tax dollars are taken out of your paycheck and they go to the IRS. And then the United States Congress votes to give out your tax dollars as subsidies or research money. And they turn over the new inventions to corporations who sell the new products worldwide for billions and sometimes trillions of dollars. And you don't get anything back. You don't get any money back for the millions or billions which were given out as subsidies or for research, design, and development. And that is wrong. So if you vote for me, I'm going down to Washington, D.C. and demand the taxpayers get their fair share of the profits for all the money these corporations are making by using your federal tax dollars. So I'm going to go over four examples. You give your money, it's well, it's taken out of your paycheck, it's gouged out of your paycheck, and it goes off to the IRS. And then members of the United States Congress vote to give millions and billions of dollars to the gas and oil industry as subsidies. Meanwhile, they're raising prices at the pump. So they're taking advantage of us two different ways. First of all, they're taking our tax dollars. And second of all, they're raising prices at the pump. You can research this on the internet. You can research subsidies to the gas and oil industry, and it makes no common sense at all. Absolutely none. Now, members of US Congress, House and Senate, when they vote to give subsidies out to different industries and corporations, those corporations have political action committees. The political action committees turn around and put money into the campaign accounts of the members of Congress, House, and Senate. No wonder they get reelected and reelected and reelected. They have millions and millions and millions of dollars in their political campaign accounts and other candidates don't. Other candidates ha have small amounts or nothing at all. So it's a scheme. It's a scheme of kickbacks to members of the US Congress. They're getting kickbacks through the political action committees for voting to give away your tax dollars. Let me give you another example. Money is taken out of your paycheck. It goes to the IRS then the U.S. Congress votes to give your tax dollars to the NIH, the National Institute of Health, and they use your tax dollars for research, design, and development of new pharmaceuticals, prescription drugs, vaccines, and medical devices. They turn the ownership of these new products over to pharmaceutical corporations who sell the new products worldwide for billions and sometimes trillions of dollars. Where is our share of the profits? We, the taxpayers, paid millions and billions by a vote of the U.S. Congress to the, to the NIH, the National Institute of Health. Where's our share of the profit? When the NIH turns over the new inventions to the pharmaceutical corporations and they sell them worldwide for billions, sometimes trillions of dollars in profit, we should get a share of the profits. Now, here's another example, the microchip industry. If you followed the news recently in the past month, the US Congress voted to give billions of our tax dollars. Remember, they came out of your paycheck taken right out of your paycheck, sent off to the IRS, and then the US Congress voted to give billions of your tax dollars 
to the microchip industry. Now the microchip industry will put new chips into cell phones, computers, electric cars, satellites, drones, all kinds of places. And they will sell them worldwide for billions, if not trillions of dollars in profits. Where is our share of the profits? We paid billions to the microchip industry, literally billions, and they're gonna turn around and make billions, if not trillions of dollars. Where is our share of the profits? Let me give you another example. Let's talk about the Pentagon. Money is taken out of your paycheck. It goes to the IRS. The US Congress votes to give money to the Pentagon, billions, literally billions, for research, design, and development of new products, new jets, new drones, new spy satellites, um, even new bullets, whatever. The Pentagon makes all kinds of new products. They do the research, design, and development, and they turn the ownership rights over to the defense corporations who sell these products worldwide for trillions of dollars in profits. No kidding. Now, that's four examples. The oil and gas industry subsidies, subsidies in the form of research, design, and development money to the National Institute of Health and to the Pentagon, to the microchip industry. So what's going on is our tax dollars are given out for the benefit of corporations. They make billions if not trillions of dollars selling new products worldwide and we get nothing in return. Now, how does this happen? Some of this happens because of the Bay Dole Act of 1980. In 1980, patent law changed. Patent law is the ownership rights to the new inventions. Patent law used to be work made for hire, which meant that whoever paid for the research, design, and development would own the patent. Now, before 1980, if taxpayers paid for research, design, and development, then we'd own the patent, or the government would own the patent, and then the profit could be divided among the states and sent back to us. But since 1980, under the Bay Dole Act, the lead researcher is allowed to own the patent, even though we paid for the research, design, and development. We paid for the laboratories. We paid for everything. And the lead researcher gets to own the patent. Better investigate Dr. Fauci and find out how he made so much money. And then the lead researcher either starts his own corporation or makes a deal with an existing corporation. They get control of the patent, sell the new products new worldwide and make a fortune and we get nothing in return. Now, what are we gonna do if we get our fair share of the profits? We need money for children and babies. We need daycare. We need baby daycare, which is special and different from little kids running around. We need more programs for school. We need a lot more after school programs. After school programs stop kids from getting involved in gangs and drugs and teen pregnancy. We need all kinds of programs for schools. We need better teacher pay. We need more tutors so that no kid in any classroom is left behind. We need more health care. We need health care for everyone. And it's got to be all inclusive and, and include prescriptions and dental care. If you get an infection in your teeth and it gets in your roots, it can spread to your brain. Lack of dental care can cause severe brain problems. Okay. We need federally subsidized housing and we need more of it because there are senior citizens and disabled persons waiting on waiting lists for years for federally subsidized housing. We need homes for homeless people who are not disabled and not senior citizens. And that can be done cost effectively 
because the state of Vermont could buy a strip of land or a bunch of strips of land and install trailers for $10,000 or less, or tiny homes for $10,000 or less. There are small, cost-effective trailers. Do your research on the internet. You can get these for $10,000 or less. A homeless person would be happy with a small trailer. Okay, we need better food benefits. Right now, the food stamp SNAP program isn't making up for the fact that the price of food has gone sky high. People need nutrition. How are they going to get all the fruits and vegetables and grains that they need and protein that they need when the prices of food are so sky high? We need a program to start more small farms in Vermont. We need family farms. We need groups of friends to get together and start farms. And they need to be allocated a share of the profits that we should be getting from corporations. In 1960, there were 25,000 farms in Vermont. Now there's only a couple thousand farms. We need our share of the profits from these corporations for these programs to start small farms, for everything children need in education, for everything senior citizens and persons with disabilities need. We also need our share of the profits for infrastructure. Big bad news recently, polio is back. What is polio? Polio causes paralysis. There is no cure for polio. Really bad news. Worse yet, it can be spread in feces. Right now, treated sewage is being dumped into Lake Champlain from which one third of Vermonters draw their drinking water. There are treated sewage plants all around Lake Champlain on the New York side, the Canadians, Vermont side, a couple dozen treated sewage plants dumping treated sewage into Lake Champlain from which one third of Vermonters draw their drinking water. It's got to stop because polio is back. We need our share of the profit from corporations to pay for infrastructure to reroute treated sewage somewhere else. Now, if you agree with me on even one of these issues, then I ask you for your vote, whether you're voting on a write-in ballot or going to the polls on November 8th, please vote for me, Chris Erickson. I do have the best plan to get more money for programs without raising federal taxes. Because if you send me down to Washington, DC, I'm going to demand that we get a share of the profits from every single corporation that we give our federal tax due to by way of our representatives. Again, federal taxes are taken out of paychecks, they go to the IRS, and the US Congress votes to give them out to all kinds of different corporations as subsidies or research money. They make huge profits. Where is our share of the profits? I'm going to go get it. I have the best plan to bring money back to Vermont and to pay for programs people of all ages need and to pay for, we, we do need free college education. We do need that in Vermont. Um, we need to move the F-35 strike fighter jets out of Burlington where they're bothering people and move them to a remote county. We need to build a school for how to repair jets, how to repair and maintain jets, and we need to build a new airport. We need infrastructure money. So if you agree with me that we need more money for all kinds of programs for babies and children and senior citizens and disabled persons, and homeless persons, if you agree with me that food prices are way too high and we need to have our fair share of the profits of these corporations to start a lot of new farms in Vermont, then vote for me, Chris Erickson, send me down to Washington, DC. I am the best candidate. My name, Chris, is spelled C-R-I-S. There's no H. There is no K in Erickson, it's E-R-I-C-S-O-N chriserickson.com, 
Chris Erickson at yahoo.com. I hope I earn your vote. And please vote for me. I am the best candidate. And thank you for listening. And please share this. Please share this video. Thank you very much. And I do approve this message. Thank you very much.